Hey, hey guys, welcome back to Explore the Joy of Making. Today we have something absolutely incredible. So I figured out how to get filled in objects with, with the pens and just using the Cricut Design Space software. We had done a process similar to this. In fact, I have the images right here um, using Inkscape. And this gave us some pretty good results, but we had to go to Inkscape to do it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get filled in images, filled in text using Create Design Space. So without further ado, let's hop into it. And as always guys, um, if you like my content, you like my videos, be sure to subscribe to me. It really helps me out and you know, no cost to you. So essentially what we do is I have these projects um, that are called like 0.3 millimeter square fill. And essentially what they are, are a bunch of squares, bunch of rectangles that are stretched out and welded together so that you can clip an image against it to get the fill that you want. So for example, let's go ahead and throw one of my uh, uploaded images. Uh, I don't know. This kind of here, yeah. So we throw this carabiner here. How did I get two of them? Oh, I must have selected the one. Okay, I'm gonna weld that to itself. So we got a carabiner. And what you gotta make sure to do is you never wanna change the size of this mask because the size of it is like the fill distance. Um, so I guess you can change the size if you want to like change the density of the lines that you're filling in. But if you want to make sure that it, you want to make sure that it's the same density as the pen width in order to get like a really solid uh, drawing. So you take this image, you size it however much you want. Um, let's pop back at the images. So yeah, like two and a half inches big. That's it's mighty fine. And then you put it here and you then slice them out and boom. We now have this blue thing is the carabiner with, but made out of lines. So you can tell like the quality of it kind of degraded a little and that's just, that's just what happens. Yeah, every one of these like steps that you see in it is like a, oh gosh, where did my drawing go? Every one of these steps is like a 0.3 millimeter step. And so that's like one of the reasons why the image quality degrades. Something you could do, is, actually let's do it, um, is before we slice, we can take this image, copy it, we'll turn it into a draw. In fact, let's make sure that this is a draw too right now. Um, and then, then we'll do the slice just like we did. And, you know, get rid of the rest of the garbage. And then I think if you just align these center and then have them there. have them be the same draw. Then you'll draw the inside as well as an outline of the outside. So I think that's a pretty good solution. So you can see that it did end up like with a bit of white space. Um, and so one thing that you can do to avoid that is either rotate the image or rotate the mask when you do that slicing. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and cut this out and I'll show you what it looks like. And then I'll have the linked project uh, of that fill that you can use and have your own filled in text with just using Cricut Design Space. So without further ado, I'm gonna go and get this cut.
All right, and we're back, and here we go. This is what we just uh, printed out using the pens on Cricut Design Space. Uh, looks pretty good. You can even see the little spots where it messed up were the same spots that in Design Space we could see that that's where it's going to mess up, and so we could have added extra lines there if we had wanted to. But yeah, I'm re really pleased with this, and so yeah, that's uh. That's how you do it. Just be sure to check out the project below and hope you guys enjoy and see you tomorrow.